Hi everyone, Nick here from MetaView Customs. Today I'm going to walk you through how to take the STL file that you've downloaded from my Etsy store and bring it into your CNC software. I'm using Vetric Aspire, but other software packages such as Carveco and ArtCam should be able to do the same thing as long as they have 3D capability. I'm going to create a new file and its dimensions are going to be 32 inches wide by 16 inches high. Yours can be whatever size you like. The thickness of my material is one inch. I'll click OK. First thing I need to do is to import the STL file into the software. I do that by going on File, Import, Import Component 3D Model. In this example, I'm going to use the Fossil STL file that's available on my Etsy store. I'll open it up. And we can see what it looks like when the software first brings it into the system. I'm going to unlock the XYZ ratio here. I know that my material is 32 inches wide, so I want to resize this model to match. And it's 16 inches high. I'm going to leave the Z axis at 7 inches for now. I'll click Apply. I'll center the model. And I'll click OK. So here we can see that the STL file has been brought into the software. You'll notice that there's some rough patterning here on the mesh of the model. That's so that I could offer the highest level of detail I could when I was creating these files. What we need to do is to smooth this out a little bit. So your software package should have an option to apply smoothing. I'll click on it. And I'm going to smooth this to the maximum setting. And you can see how things have gotten a lot softer here. I'm going to bake this smoothing. And I'm going to do it again. And now we have a nicely smoothed out mesh. I'll bake that smoothing. And I'll click close. Next thing we need to do is to adjust the height of the model to match our one inch thick material. I'll double click to get the properties of the model. And I'm going to resize the height to something less than one inch. In my case, what I'm going to use is 0.75. And I want the base of my model to sit a little bit higher than the base of the material so that we have some thickness to it. I'm going to do 0.25 inches here. And you can see the software's made the adjustments. I'll click close. And the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to my 2D view and I'm going to create a vector on the outside of the model, just a rectangular vector to surround the model. I'll click Apply. And then I'm going to go to my toolpaths, and I'm going to create a finishing toolpath. If you have a deep model that's any thicker than an inch, I would recommend doing a roughing toolpath first. But in this case, I'm just going to do a finishing toolpath. I'll click on the toolpath. We see that we've got the correct thickness of the material, which is one inch here. I'll click OK. And I'm going to keep the machining limit to the selected vector, which is right here. Also note that the raster angle on this particular model is it's set to 45 degrees. That's personal preference, but I find I get the best results going at a 45 degree angle. We'll click Calculate. The next thing we can do is to preview our carve. And we just do that by clicking on our preview button here and we'll preview all tool paths. So there you go. You can see the preview of your model has been completed with the tool path created by the software. Next step is basically just to export the G code to your CNC machine and carve away. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy the STL file that you've downloaded from my Etsy store. Cheers.